Welcome to another edition of Jacqueline of All Trades, and this will be video number three in our Painting with Mom series. So in video number two, I introduced you to the color chart. And basically what I did very simply was I just took a sample of each of the paints and I put them on a piece of paper. I have 16 paints in my Crayola watercolor palette and that's what I did. So now what I'm gonna show you is how to make sure that our, when you paint, the combination of colors that you have are always pleasing to the eye and they're not muddy. And I mean by muddy is when you inadvertently are creating brown colors. So I am going to bring a little bit closer Okay, and I'm going to show you some of the ranges that work. So we have blue, and if we add red, we have violet, and we can get a gradient all the way till a, a true red. Okay, so let me show you um, how that would work. So we're going to start, um, in order to find out what blue we're going to start with, we are going to start with this one. And that one in the palette corresponds to this blue, the one right next to the white. So I'm just going to create a tiny little flower. Okay? And as I mentioned to you in the very first video, the way that we create petals is by just simply pressing the brush and if we want a big petal, we press really hard. And if we want a tiny petal, we press lighter. So that is our blue petal. On the other side of the spectrum, we have red. And let's find out where we find the red. Our red is right here, which is right next to the black paint. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that I'm sorry, I, I don't know if you saw it. It's right there. And again, we're gonna create the little red petals. So let's do that. And I'm just gonna create a tiny little flower. You see? I'm sorry, maybe it was, I wasn't in focus. Okay, so we're just making the little red petals. And so here we have our blue and here we have our red. Now in between, we're gonna have all kinds of fun shades of violet. And so I'm gonna show you from the palette. I'm just gonna change my water a little bit, just clean my brush. And so from the violet range, we have this one and we have this one. So let's put those in the middle. And just so you know what those look like, um, so the first one is gonna be right here next to the, it's like an orange red, and that's gonna be a violet. And I'm just gonna make that little flower. And then we're also gonna make the other um, violet range, which is the one right next to the brown. So we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. Okay, so I want to show you. So now we have blue, we have red, we have a darker, a darker purple, and we have kind of a lighter violet. When you are painting blue flowers or red flowers, you will find that in nature, there's always some kind of a range of all of this going on. When you mix them, you just get gradients of paints in between and you never get any browns. So this is a great color combination to have. Let's move on to the next area, which is red, orange, and yellow. Let's do that one. So for a true red, 
the truest red we have right here is this one, which is right next to our black paint. And again, we're just gonna create our little red flower. Now our next area, it's gonna be orange. And we have this sort of like a lighter orange, it's kind of like a pumpkin, and the one underneath, which is a, a brighter orange. So let's do those. So first I'm gonna do the darker one. I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to do the less vibrant or maybe a little more vibrant, just a little different shade of orange. Okay. And then I'm going to again clean my brush. And the next one that we're going to talk about is 100% yellow. And yellow is in between this orange and this darker green. And I'm gonna show you something that maybe nobody has ever shown you that. Okay, so it goes red, darker orange, lighter orange, yellow. Now take a look at my water. My water, even though it looks a little bit red, I was able to wash my brush all of these times and get a true yellow. Why is that? Because the colors that I've done are within the gradient of the same family. Even though it's not intuitive, um, none of these colors put together would give you a brown. So that's why I can still get a yellow color. So if nothing else that you learn from this video, I want you to maybe write down somewhere the color blue, violet, and red, and do the little flowers, and then the red, orange, orange, and yellow. Okay, the last part of our chart, it's gonna be the green, yellow greens, and yellows. Now, I have in my brush, I still have yellow from this previous time, so I'm just gonna do it here again. Just gonna create this true yellow little flower. I'm going to change my water because now I'm gonna go into greens. And um, let's do that. Now for greens, we have three greens in this palette. We have this really kind of a green blue we have this more like grass green, and then we have this is called chartreuse, which is a yellow green. So let's just do the next one up, which is the little chartreuse, or what people call them a yellow green. And you will see that even though I still haven't changed my water, I still get true green colors. And interestingly enough, in my water now has turned to orange, you see? Um, I don't know if you remember when you were little and you would have um, art class, your water would always turn brown. And notice I have pretty much used all of the palette and still my water is not brown. And that's a testimony of what it is to, to mix the right colors together so you don't get a brown. Okay, so now, Let's go with the a little bit lighter green. This is the one that looks like grass. And then, let's see, finally, let's see if we can get some brown. No, we're still not getting brown water. Let's do the darkest of all the greens. And this is called Viridian. But, um, so I just wanna show you what we did today. Let me see if I can move it a little bit bigger. So you see, these are all happy colors. They all look vibrant. And 
what I would recommend from this video is that you write down the following items. You write blue, violet, red, red, orange, yellow, green, yellow, greens, and yellow, and you just make those tiny little flowers. So you know when you're painting, if you want to live liven up a, a, a flower and let's say you start it with a blue you can always mix a little bit red and you get this sort of like softer violet if you are painting with a red flower and you want more orange undertones then you add a little bit of yellow and your painting will always be vibrant if you're doing green and you want to maybe put some lighter shades of grass, then you can start with yellow and you will get all that range. And this is the way that you will always have very vibrant, very happy paintings. I hope this was helpful to you and we will see you the next time. Bye-bye.